Hey, it's Alice from eKit Hub, and this is just a clip from a recent members only live stream on the step by step speed blueprint to online success. If you do want to see the whole recording, I will put the link in the description below. But this part talks about creating a digital product funnel, no matter what you sell or where you sell it. And you know, funnel often sounds like a big fancy word, but really all it is is the way that your customers or your potential customers move through your content and get to buy your products. It's a very important thing to your business. So let's break it down for you. So this is the digital product funnel for printable and course sellers. That's what we're calling it. But honestly, it's even if you ship products, everything like that, like it, 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 it works. It's an online marketing funnel, basically. So this is where we get a lot of people saying, right, like I, I fell on Etsy, so I'm, you know, it, this doesn't necessarily apply to me, right? And, and sure, there are different things you need to learn about Etsy. You need to, if you're going to do a store on Etsy, you need to learn how the search works there, how to get eyeballs on those content. You have that challenge. That's your audience building challenge because you're trying to get the audience to grow on Etsy so that you can bring it over to yourself. So I'll explain what I mean bef uh, uh, by that. So if we look at this, this looks like complicated, I think, right? Like I, it is a simple funnel. It's a really simple funnel. But when you look at it and you don't know what's going on there, you might be like, oh, that's a lot of stuff, right? What is this? So if it helps, I'm just going to show you this version where I made some markups to it. It really is just three sections, three steps in this funnel. It's the traffic. I don't, I guess you probably can't see the mouse, right? Ah, on my Camtasia, you guys can see the mouse. Um, this first on the left, it says traffic source. And I'm going to go through each of these sections. Then the middle is leads and offers. And then the, the far right is nurturing and more sales. So that's how we're looking at it. And it's also color coded as well. So the orange is traffic source, blue leads and offers, and then the pink or red or pinkish red <laughs> is nurturing and more sales. So let's walk through it. So first you need a traffic source, right? To start building that audience. And these platforms also help you kind of build an audience, right? Um, but we're gonna move them over to our own real estate and I, I did actually forget to talk about that part about why we're doing that. I will do that after I talk about um, after I talk about this traffic source. So it says marketplace customer, which could be Etsy, it could be Amazon, um, and then uh, content, right? Content on social media, on your blog, or even an ad, right? That you're tapping into that social media audience or Google, or whatever you're doing an ad that drives people into your site. Now, on social media, you aren't always sending them to your site, but you're probably always talking about the free things you have to offer. Uh, on your blog, you definitely should be linking about something to get them to sign up, something to buy, something for free, whichever it is. On the marketplace, you know, you are like getting these customers and they belong while Etsy gives you some options in, you know, making special offers to people who have purchased from you before, I don't think Amazon does that, right? Um, and Etsy does, but it's still ultimately Etsy's customers. They are emailing your customers all the time and, and, and navigating them through their site to their own benefit, right? Where they think they can get people to go. So you're competing with them. So you want to bring them to your place. That's why we always want to create a mailing list. And the reason we want to create a mailing list is because that is our property. That is a that is an asset that we wholly own, right? If you have an Etsy, I don't know if you can, no, you can't. <laughs> it's, 
it, it's a it's a list, right? You can in any autoresponder, and if your autoresponder or mailing list program doesn't allow you to export your contacts, the emails and the names, then you're using the wrong tool. I've never come across one that doesn't. It's your list. These are your people. Obviously, people will unsubscribe and come and go, but it's your asset. When it <coughs> comes to building a following on social media, that the social media sites asset, right? They have the list, they have the contact information. They are the ones that are messing with people's heads and trying to get them through in the different areas of their site. And they don't care about us, the, the, the platform. They care about keep their own goals. On your blog, that is your own, that's your own real estate. However, when people come, they go and then they probably will never find you again. That's why we need them on a list so we can remind them. Maybe they'll be, they'll love our blog, uh, but that's how we keep in touch with them to make sure they know about everything we have to offer. So in order to do that uh, on the marketplace and Etsy and Amazon, if you're selling a physical product, put a note inside that tells people how they can get something for free generally here. You probably don't want to go, I mean, I'm sure some people do it successfully to get them to buy more products, but you want to get as many of those paying customers onto a list you can continue to talk to. So give them something very relevant to what they just purchased that they can grab for free. It could be, you know, a checklist that goes with it that makes it easier. It could be a list of things. Maybe you have a, a resource list that will help them with putting together what whatever you happen to be selling them. And also when you think about your free offer, think about what you want to sell them next. So you want these things to each step they go through this funnel from either being your customer at the top here on the left in the orange, the marketplace customer, which is different than a customer on our own site, or by consuming our content, what would make them want to move through? We want to make things uh, easier for them. We want it to make it faster for them to achieve results or just achieve better results. So they could come for a webinar or something like that. Say you share, you you sell them on Etsy, you sell them a, a, you know, a planner of some sort, but they could also get a free class with you, a webinar that will help them do that. And maybe after that, you have a product that you sell that helps them, whatever the planner you help them organize, maybe it's about organizing their home, maybe you have a bigger program or a bunch of templates or some big package that is very useful and helpful in getting helping them get better. If you see on this, this third, the, the, the blue part, we're kind of moving into here, the highly targeted free offer, then a product offer goes next where it's better, faster, quicker results, right? You're always thinking about that. Even on your free offer, you wanna give them better, quicker results from either the free content or the little, the package that they bought from you on one of the marketplaces. So a lot of people will take, you know, make free offers and yes, they might be attractive, but they're not exactly related to what they came to you in the first place. You want to build that connection. How we talked about the planner, um, planning, you know, a planner that helps them organize their home. Then they come for a webinar that maybe helps them overcome a specific problem, a challenge in the home, maybe how to get, if your planner is geared to, to maybe uh, mothers and, and working mothers or, or stay at home moms, whichever it is, but you, you know, getting the family on board with helping that could be the net, the webinar. Then there could be some coaching. There could be templates. There could be lots of different things to get kids involved, how to speak to their, their spouses and partners about getting them involved as well. You're moving through that, that, you're moving them through because you're always offering something better, faster, and quicker. So we get them on, you do make, so you're going to bring them from the marketplace. Again, if it's a digital product, I don't think I said that part, then you put something in the actual document. 
write it right in there. If it's a book that they download, a journal, a planner, whatever, write that they can get their free checklist here or they can get the free, the free webinar you do every week or something like that. Whatever it is, put it right in the document. If there's a zip folder, you could also make another little file that says, hey, I, we have this to offer you. So, uh, you know, important, open for more help or something. Name the file something that gets interest. When it comes to content, free content, again, I'm here on the, the orange part of the screen, uh, on social media, blog, or an ad. So social media is tricky, right? It's, it's, it's you're not always going to put a link. You're sometimes going to put a link, and it depends on what platform you use. Maybe you can't even put a link. But you can always say what you have to offer. You know, let me know if you would like uh, access to this, right? And always talk about it. So even though you might be giving them, you're not going to be like completely promoting your free offer all the time. You're going to be engaging in a conversation that tells them we've, you know, helps them for, let's use this example about the household. Uh, managing the household, you're going to give them a tip. Maybe it's going to be a tip on the bathroom work. You're going to get specific. You're going to something about organizing a bathroom, or I, I don't know what it is. I'm <laughs> just making that up. Um, or keeping a bathroom clean because when all the boys in the house are using it. Uh, <laughs> what's the easy way to do that? You would have something related to that and you can mention it. You can give them great tips in the post and say, oh, yeah, I have this checklist or I have this script you can use with your sons to teach them how to respect the bathroom. Um, and let me know if you want it. Just put a, you know, they're going to make a, they could make a comment. The goal is just always be talking about things that you have that will make their life easier so that they come here, they opt in, they get on your list. And when they're on your list, you give them this free thing, then you're gonna give them a product offer, which is gonna give them better, faster, quicker results. So they're more likely to take advantage of that. You On the thank you page after they sign up for your website, or uh, sign up for your list, you would give them a, a uh, product offer. You would do it in the follow-up email that they get. And maybe they buy, maybe they don't. So if they don't buy it, you're gonna you know, follow up with more of that educational content. It can be automated, right? It can be an automated series that you're gonna continue talking about what they signed up for and educate them so that they're ready to buy your product. And we talk about that in lots of different places. And I, you know, just doing that type of educational content. And if you guys need any resources on that, you can ask me. I, I hope you found that helpful. Now, if you need a little help with this, a few things I would suggest is you can click the join button below the video and join the membership so you'll be invited to our future members only live streams and get a whole bunch of other perks as well. You can also see the video description to see a blog post version of this and make sure you drop by the eKid Hub Facebook group as well. We have a nice community there where you can ask questions anytime. Hope to see you there.